WB, my minions, which stands for a welcome back to Attack of the B Team Mod Pack. And we are currently on the server along with B00100 and the Resident Witch Chimney Poo. And we have a pretty busy day today. In fact, I've got big plans, big plans today to, um, to make a smeltery. So that is what we're going to accomplish in this episode, and I'm going to do it right here, in fact. Because we really need to upgrade our tools. I'm still using diamond. <laughs> Imagine. Diamond. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, so this, this mod pack offers so many more um, and better and more powerful and more efficient tools than, uh, than diamond alone. So I think what I'm going to do is start by moving all of my, my workshop. Um, paraphernalia here and furniture and wowzers whoa wow 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 like I had a lot of oh right I had already made up a bunch of patterns I was gonna do that today on camera but um, I'm not sure how much time we're gonna have for all of this so I think what's going to happen is I'm gonna be cutting in and out because this is a pretty long process building up a smeltery it's part of the tinkers construct mod and it requires a bit of work there's a lot of collection ahead of time, too, which I have to do. But first, of course, I have to make some room for my tools and um, benches and so forth. So let's do that right now. Let's put this guy back down so I can refill it with all those patterns. And we'll talk more about this in a moment. Oh, it doesn't take the blank patterns, does it? It will show you how all this works, but... Um, I think what I'm going to have to do right now is cut out and just get organized. I just wanted to say, hey, and tell you what we're going to do. And I'm going to go off and do some collecting because I am going to need some uh, material. Let me show you. Let me just give you a quick idea of what you have to have here for this, um, for this smeltery. And the smeltery, by the way, is going to give us the ability to smelt down um, ores and metals into molten forms and make casts and um, get into the more advanced tools and so forth. In fact, why don't we take a look very quickly here at the book on our new desk. Materials in you. Oh, we have to make the smeltering smeltery guide, which I believe is simply done by combining that. Oh, no, no, just dropping that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Mighty smelting. And here we go. So this is all sort of new to me, although I did a little bit of work in single player off camera just to get an idea of how all this works. And I watched a tutorial by our good friend Dire Wolf. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of, I've kind of uh, got an idea of what we need to do. So this is what we have to do first is make these seared bricks. So I'm going to go and collect some materials for that. Yeah, a little bit of work ahead of time just to get prepared. And uh, while I do that, you guys can watch a quick little thing that it, um, I, I, Chim stopped by today and showed me his new his new morph. So I will uh, I'll roll that footage right now. It's only a minute or two, but I'll be right back, and then we'll get started on our smeltery. Stay tuned. Hey, guys, quick thing. Just wanted to show you Chim's new morph. Yeah, man, I love it. It's an owl. It's so cool. So apparently it's been added to the uh, the Morphs mod specifically for witchery or something. I'm not really sure. We'll have to look into that. But I really like it. Oh, thanks. Thanks. My new ride. Hey, you want a ride? Let's see if... Oh, I wonder if he can get in there as a... Uh, there's a back seat. I don't know if he can ride as, a, as an owl. <laughs> He's in... <laughs> Here we go. Let's go for a ride, Mr. Owl. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, and now we're going to cruise owl chicks or something. Awesome. My fake stole Corrales' boat last night. Oh, there, oh, is he still there? <laughs> I love boats. I love boat rides. These are so fun. Anything, really, that could be. <laughs> Look at the owl. There he goes. Oh, he's still there. Okay, I keep thinking he's launching himself. Oh, sandbar. Watch out. Sandbar. I'm thinking cruise line. 
either a cruise line of ships or maybe just a pontoon boat. I don't know. It depends on how how ambitious I am as far as building something. But a cruise ship would be awesome. We'll bring cruise ships right over here to the tropical islands, and that'll bring people in to the uh, to my uh, my resort area where I can you know maybe kidnap them and use them in my experiments. Heck is that? That's that little, um, what is that called again? The Mandrake? Ma man Mandrake? Is that what that thing is? is it from Harry Potter? See, the owl is definitely, um, Potterish. <laughs> what are you doing? Is, are you catching some sun on my boat? Yeah, turn it over. Get the other side. Get the other side nice and even. <laughs> Throw it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Too many pina coladas, bro. <laughs> He's a little seasick, I guess. This is Chim seasick. <laughs> All right, my minions, welcome back. So, I thought maybe you'd be interested in watching the uh, the workshop take shape here. So I'm just putting it together. Um, nothing fancy right now. I've got my all my benches down here, my stencil table. I'm sorry, the crafting station, stencil table, the pattern chest, the part builder, and the tool station. And we're gonna have a tool forge here shortly. And I'm just putting this uh, this little background. Um, this is gonna be this shelf here will hold containers, probably some lockers and chests, and some things like that. Maybe a bookshelf, and we'll use some of those new biblio. Um, tool tool shelves and shelving up in the wall here as well so that's why i'm just putting these oak wooden planks by the way these wooden planks were made with the chisel and i just uh i just snagged one that i thought looked kind of cool it's a little bit uneven and worn looking i like that um i haven't really tried any of the other ones I, it, you could literally just spend hours upon hours just playing around with the various styles and trying uh just trying different things via trial and error but we don't have that kind of time here um unfortunately and i haven't really thought of what i'm going to do in the ceiling yet that's why i'm leaving that alone but i'll probably mix in some natural stone i'll leave some natural and maybe work in some of this uh some of the brick i'm not really sure maybe some mossy cobble or some mossy style i haven't really thought about that much yet but i will um uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll let you guys know what I think of in, in the future if there is something that we want to try out, or you guys can give me some ideas down in the comments below, of course, as well. So it's like you can't even dig into the wall in this mod pack, just to you know. I'm trying to make some space, and then suddenly, oh, dang it! Look, ores everywhere, and then you start digging in after the ores, and then you've got a big hole in your floor and your ceiling and your walls. Um, it's kind of a, a good problem to have, I guess, right? <laughs> could be worse. We could have no ores to work with. But I am saving some of these ores here for my uh, for my new pick. And that's one of the things we're after today is a new pickaxe that has fortune on it so we can get a better yield when we start mining things that yield uh, you know, full pieces like diamonds and, uh, and nether quartz, for example. So, all right. I think that looks good enough for now. I'm going to head down to the nether and grab all the rest of the stuff I need. And hopefully um, that won't take too long and I'll be right back. So, well, for you, it's going to be a jiffy anyway, right? So, all right, see you in a jiff. All right, my minions, I have returned. And I do believe I have everything we need to build up this smeltery. Oh, dear. Okay, let's take off the armor so we can do this as Dr. Frankensaurus. Oh, uh, Igor. Are you gonna be are you gonna behave better now? Huh? You've been misbehaving. I'm gonna let Igor out of the timeout room. Come on. Come on. Okay, I know it's been a couple of hours. I'm sure you're you're all simmered down now. Igor wanted to uh He he had a hankering for Chimney Swift. He wanted to go after Chim because Chim did some sort of remote zap the other day. He voodooed me last night, in fact, and uh Igor was all incensed. And he was running around. I could not control him. I had to give him candy and, and sing lullabies to finally calm him down. But um, still, he, he, needs, he needs to be reprimanded for that sort of behavior. 
Well, actually, it's a good thing. It is a good thing that you want to protect me. I understand that. But when I say sit and stop, then you have to sit and stop because that's more important than, uh, you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe Chim and I will be buddies someday, even when he zaps me. I might have to let him get away with it occasionally, make him feel, you know, big and strong and powerful. Because he likes that, that Chim. So anyway, I'm just putting down uh, <laughs> some stalagmites here. And if you need to remember what stalagmite and stalactites are, the difference is stalactites, the T in tight, top, top, above, T. Ah, I learned that in like the third grade. Never forgot. Amazing. What you learn these days in school. Okay, so here's where we're going to put the smeltery. Um, I've got a three by three uh, base. This is where the uh, the bottom is going to go. We're going to dig right in there. What the? And uh, put down those bricks. But we got to make the bricks first. We have to. We have a little cooking to do. So let's cook. Let us cook. I've got plenty of clay balls. You know, let's get rid of the lapis. We don't need that right now. We want to make some of these bricks. The oh yeah, I was looking up armor stand because I want to put my armor away. Um, so three, oh, that's, that's a snap. That is a snap. And I think I may even have some, I, I, this, this is kind of sort of organized, but not really. There they are. <laughs> Nuts totally. So what was that? Bang. And then bing, bing. Now this is the Bibliocraft armor stand. Not the, apparently there is another armor stand. Um, what's the other one? Better storage. But we're just going to do this. we going to use this one. Hi! I put it on! See, I think the other one actually allows a single click or something. There we go. Boom. What do you think, Igor? Not bad, huh? Hmm. Okay. All right. So, now let's cook up some stuffs. Let's check out the seared... Seared swordfish. Seared tuna. Um, which is like... In real life, that's, like, gross because it's not even cooked. All they do is, like, throw it on the grill for about a second. Nasty. Well, for me, anyway. I don't know. Some people must love it. What the heck is that? Dummy camel. All right, anyway. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Gravel, soul sand, nether wart makes this nasty stuff here. And I believe I have all of that. I don't have the gravel yet. So let's grab the gravel. And let's make up a bunch of these bricks right here so let's get some of this going at least some of this grout so we can make the grout right here with these balls uh, that's some grout and what the heck is that clay and sand mixture flans mod oh nice okay well we need a lot more than that my friends so I think what I'm gonna do is go out and collect some more gravel I knew I didn't have everything I never do, do I? All right, my minions, I have returned. And Igor, thank you for keeping everybody busy. I really appreciate that. So it sounds like you guys had some fun. Igor said that you guys played some Parcheesi, little checkers, and uh, and Twister, right? Um, yeah. And just between uh, you guys, just between you and me, thanks for letting Igor win at Twister because he gets a little upset when he loses and he throws a tantrum every time. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a scary sight, trust me. All right, anyway, let's get back to business here. So I've got all my seared bricks. I've got the two various kinds, and I think what we're going to do, we do have to save some of these for... Um, got to save some of these bricks instead of these bricks for some things. So I'm just going to go ahead and build... Bank a bunch of these, and whoa. There they are. Okay, that's weird when they do that. Oops, that didn't work. All right, just to get started, because I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. I didn't do the math ahead of time. Math's no fun. Math is for the week. But here we go. So we're going to put down a three by three. Oh, look at all this stuff. See, like I said, you, <laughs> you can't shake a stick around here without bumping into ores and precious metals and gemstones and so forth and so on, which is really kind of cool. All right, I'll go down there and get that stuff later. Trust me, I will. So we first start out with a 3x3 three three base, and if you guys want to see this in the bookie book, um, it's in the smelting book. All right, there's some weird stuff going on here. 
some kind of uh, duplication stuff. But anyway, so here we go. Um, this tells you all about what you need to get started here. And this is the base of the smeltery. It needs three by three here and then these walls around the side so it's all enclosed. The corners don't matter, but I have an idea for the corners. And then we make the controller thingy and then the thingy thingy. And we will get to those in a moment and this just shows you how to make everything yeah the smeltery controller the smeltery drain and we're going to kind of go through this pretty quickly because we're already um running out of time for this episode but i i kind of have an idea of what we need to do and it's just a matter of making it all happen Whoa, ha, 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 ha. listen to that storm raging outside my minions this is perfect atmosphere for constructing an evil smeltery or something. Well, it's not really evil, but we can pretend. Okay. Folks, I think we're ready here. So, the next thing to make is um, we're going to need this this tank right here. And I should have everything in my inventory. It is a single tank. And we also need the controller, which... Can you hold that book there, buddy? Uh, the controller, the controller is somewhere, is it, oh, maybe it's not called seared, it's a smeltery controller unit, right here, bang, just all a bunch of bricks around the border of the crafting bench, alright, so, alright, my minions, I have returned once again, and I apologize for cutting in and out on you like this, but, I'm running into some minor issues here, and I'm doing some, uh, some quick fixes that aren't really going to be fun to watch. Like, for example, that sound right there. There's a waterfall up above us. And every time I try to make a little space, the water flows through because there's all sand in here. And the waterfall sound comes down with it. And it's loud, obnoxious, and annoying. And nobody wants to listen to that. Um, also, some of these items that I've crafted off camera aren't really all that difficult to make. It's just a bunch of bricks, really. So if you want to see this... Um, and see how to do it. You can either go watch a tutorial video. This is not really a tutorial video. Or you can look at the smeltery book here, which shows you how to make all this stuff. But really, I just want... I know some of you guys like to watch me build these things, so um, I'm including you in that process. But, uh, again, it's not really a tutorial. I'm just going to kind of bang this thing out if we can. Ooh, it's going to be... Oh, actually, I don't need it over here. Dire! Oh, that's good. We have a little extra. Yeah, so what we need to do over here is put down our smeltery controller. As I had mentioned before, the smeltery tank goes here. So you have to have... this. Is, you know, this is all going to work together once it's all completed. And you'll see um, in a moment how that's going to work. And then I'm going to put the seared glass right in the center there, which I kind of like. This cobble underneath, I'm going to change that out. I'll probably stick with the seared brick um design and style underneath there because you can you know, you can kind of see it but I'll probably put the seared bricks all the way around I just have to make more I just don't have enough and that's why I'm holding off on that now what I want to use here instead is some of this rusty seared brick in the corners and you don't actually have to do anything in these corners I have discovered but um we're going to do it because it looks a little nicer in fact let I'm just going to do it right now because I, I can show you how this thing works but it looks I don't know, it's more atmospheric and uh, more fun when the whole thing is done. But as you can see, this is already lit up here. You can see in the, the lava, uh, not the lava, I'm sorry, the fire there lighting up. That means this is active and it is actually um, able to function now. So that's pretty cool stuff. But again, I do want to finish it up. And I'm not sure how much glass I'm going to have to do this. So let's just at least go up one more. All right. Well, you know what? Let's do this then. Let's just let's power it up. And it requires some um, some lava here to power it up. We just pour it right in here. And I'm not sure how much it takes. But you can see there in the top is a seared tank. Liquid is lava. This is the fuel. And it looks like it's filling up. We've got 850 out of a total of 4,000. And we can put in some more. I'm not sure, again, how many buckets it's going to take. But why don't we just... We'll dump all three in. That's all I have. But we can put another tank up on top of this one. And we can double it up as well. Um, you know what? Let's just make this the redstone. So I made these redstone lamps because I want to light this up back here. Let's just see how this looks. 
The higher you make this smeltery, the more capacity it has for holding um, all the, the molten metals that you're going to be breaking down in here. But I don't think we're ever going to need much more than than these two. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. If that is the case, then I'll raise it up a little bit more, but I don't think so. I think for now, we're just going to do it like this. And... Oops. Dang you. All right. Let's put a redstone here. And we're going to light this guy. <laughs> you want to play Twister, don't you, Igor? No time for Twister, my friend. We got work to do. So what we're going to do right now is make a... Where is my carpenter block? I want to make a lever with the carpenter block. And I'm not sure how to do that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this is cool. Because you can invert this uh, this carpenter block with a hammer. This, um, this lever. Watch. Where's my hammer? This is awesome. So we're going to put that there, and I want to put some redstone up along the top if I can even get up there. Yeah, I don't even know if we're even going to get to any, <laughs> any actual smelting today. Oh, man, how much more can I go up over here? I guess I can turn into a bat. Oh, boy, this is close. I'm going to pop a hole in. I know it. Ah, comes the water. And the sound. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, folks. That's what I'm talking about. And you ruined my darn redstone. All right, my minions. After much toil and trouble, I think we have this problem licked. Seems like some witchery going on, but I have no proof of that. But Chimney Poo is definitely online, so who knows? Anyway, I think I was saying you can uh, you can invert this signal right so because i you, you, typically a switch on the wall is when it's down it's not powered right it's off you turn it on uh you click it up and it goes on so in order to invert this we just whack it with a hammer and bang just like so so we want to flick it up and we get light now these things right here i didn't realize they were well i knew they were from random things but i didn't realize they were going to look like that so I looked them up here in uh, in not enough items, and it looks like we can colorize these guys. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure which color I'm going to go with just yet, so we're going to leave them as they are. And I'll fool around with that another time. I just want to get some light in here, because I'm probably going to knock some of these torches out. I want to make it more moody in here. And, and just... I know some OCD is uh, flying off the hook right now, off the, off the hook, flying um, pretty wild, but all this is going to be fixed up. Right now, my main concern is getting this, uh, the smeltery up and running. So, okay. Whew. Now, check it out. So we have this smeltery controller. We have the fuel showing here in this gauge. This is where we drop in the ores and they'll get smelted. And this will show us what's inside this tank area. This whole thing, essentially the whole bin. The basin's going to go down here, I think. And the drain is what I need. So let's make the drain. Okay, it's just on the sides. Very easy. Boom. All right, I'm not sure how many we're going to need these. I guess we're going to need another one over here. We don't need that right now. But we will eventually... To get excess uh, molten metal out of this darn thing. But let's make the table. And this is really what we're after. And, wow, it's a little tight in here. I might have to move this down some. Oh, that's the wrong spot. Oh, boy. I'm all discombobulated now with all this other nonsense going on. All right, so that's cool. Now what we need over here is I guess I can make another basin or something, but... Since I'm a little low on supplies, we're not going to bother. Bang. Pretty cool stuff. All right, my minions. I have taken it upon myself to just complete the smeltery. And here it is in all its current glory. I will be making some minor tweaks here and there, like I said, around the flooring anyway. And I most likely am going to cut this back 
some so we can see a more clearer view and it's easier to get to. But really what I want to do in this episode is make the tool. So now that the smelter is up and running, let's do the real fun stuff, and that is to make the tool. So in order to make the actual pick that we're after, and this is what ultimately we want to do today, is to make a new pickaxe, and we want a steel pickaxe, so again, that we can get our... Uh, excuse me, Igor! Beep, beep! We can get some of that cordite... Uh, it was a cordite, a cobalt, or whatever it was, down in, in the nether, and uh, among other types of materials that we can't that we can't actually mine right now because we don't have a proper pick. Not to mention we can get fortune and some other enchantments on this thing as well, all with the smeltery and these items here. So, what we need to do then is first make, um, take these patterns and get a, uh, a casting. And in order to get a casting, we're going to need to melt down some copper and some aluminum. Which one's the aluminum? That's silver. All right. Don't need you just yet. Although I was going to make a locker today. A silver... Um, oh, that's tin. Okay. Not even close, dude. Uh, what are you? Your iron. I thought I had some um, aluminum around here somewhere. Ah, yes. We can use these right here. Even though it's from a different mod. This is Galacticraft. I'm pretty sure we can use these. And same goes with these as well. And we're going to make sure we can do that because I've got a lot more of those than I do from the Tinker's Construct. So the first thing we want to do, in fact, we're not even going to use those just yet. Um, we want to make a, uh, a cast pattern. So I think what we have to do is go over here to our part builder and put our pattern in and then a material that we want to use. And we're not actually going to make a stone pickaxe, but we have to use this to make the cast. So we're going to go ahead and use a stone pickaxe head for our cast. I'm going to put that back there. We're going to get our tool binding, and we're going to put some stone in here. And this shows you the cost, by the way, which is a half. So it really only takes half a stone, which is why we get this shard back. And then same goes with the rod pattern. This is the handle. We get a rod and a stone shard. I don't know what we can use these stone shards for later, but I'm pretty certain we can use them for something eventually. I don't know. Maybe it's just scrap. But for now, we're just going to chuck it in here so I have enough hands and space to do everything. All right. Now with these patterns, with these, uh, yeah, these... Um, these patterns or castings, whatever you want to call them, we have to put them on here like so, on this uh, casting table, and then we can release some of the molten aluminum brass is what we're after, and it's going to form a cast around that piece. And then we use that cast to make future items with other materials like steel and so forth. So that's what we're going to do right now, and in order to do that, we need to take copper and aluminum, and that's going to make us brass. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use these two from Galacticraft just to test my theory that we can use um, ores from other mods. And what we want to do here, it's a ratio of 3 to 1, I think. And all of this, by the way, is in this booklet, if you want to take a look at the materials somewhere in here. Uh, actually, it's in the other book, Materials and You. So we're not going to bother with that. I'm just going to show you what you have to do. So it's I know it's a 3 to 1 ratio, so it's going to be 3... Yeah, we need six. Yeah, so three to one. I'm going to put in our aluminum. Three aluminum, one copper. And now this should be smelting. It is. Okay, so this this bar right here shows you um, how far along the progress is. Now, typically, we're supposed to see here the lava level, but I think I think I need to fill this one up, too. And maybe get it a little higher because it's not showing up for some reason. Now, as now you can see, when you put stuff in this uh, control unit here in this bin, it shows up inside the smelter. That's so cool. Now, watch what happens when they all get melted down. This is really neat. Oh, there's my fuel. Okay, now it's showing for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Oh, there it is. Look at, check it out. So we have molten aluminum here. And we have 
Oh, the copper's not quite done yet, but that's going to show up. Look at that. I love how that shows up in the world. That's so sweet. Then we can walk around, look to the windows. We need more windows. I need more windows, but I don't have enough material to make the windows. Come on, copper. Why are you so slow? So there we go. So now if you look down here, we have aluminum. We have molten aluminum brass, and that's what we want. Now we can go ahead and release that. I think we can release it now because that's the only thing in there, right? Yeah, if we hurry. So now watch this. Bing! And then it hardens. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Now we can take that pattern off, the stone pattern, and here is our head, our cast for the pickaxe head. That's so wild. I love it. And then we use this um, to put back down here, and we'll make a, a steel, because what we're after is a steel pickaxe, right? Then we're going to throw steel in this sucker, and we're going to melt down our steel. But first, we want to make the rest of these casts. So we need stone, uh, we need the tool, rod, and the binding. <gasps> Neat. That's cool. All right, well, that's fun and all, but what we really want is our pickaxe. Let's just get rid of that. Let's dump this in here for now. And we'll just put it all away and free up some space for our steel. And I think we're only going to need two. All right, so this is a cost of one, and these others are half each, so that's two. We only need two steel ingots. So let's go ahead and put those bad boys in there, cook it up. I wonder how long this lava lasts. There's plenty in there, 2,400 or 4,000 still. Okay, these might take a little time. So let's just go ahead and finish up what we started here with the uh, pick. I'm going to go ahead and pour out some steel in there. Oh, I think of beauty. Steel pickaxe head. Let's put the handle down. Crank it out. That should use about half of what's in there. And then the rest. This should be the rest. And then we have our pickaxe. That is so cool, man. man, man. And now, let's see. Ooh. So now if we go to the pickaxe. This tells us what we need. We're going to put the steel head up top, handle, binding, and shazam! Steel, reinforced two, pickaxe. Huh? I got... Are you playing with the power tools again? Oh, wait. That wasn't a power tool. How do you even use a saw? Your arm, anyway. Uh, okay, so here we have a steel pickaxe. And as you can see there, when it was in the part station before I whipped it out. Uh, it shows the durability, the mining speed, the mining level, which is cobalt. Awesome! Now we can go back to the nether and get that stuff all over the place that we want. And, um, and modifiers remaining three. So we can modify this. That's what's so cool. So let's just leave it in there for a moment because we are going to get some modifiers. And let me show you the magic here. So now we can put, um, now we can put modifiers on our pick to make it fasterer and betterer and stronger 